What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back. Terabyte Reacts here. Um, Band of Brothers, man. Episode 9 is here today. And we are going to jump in. Jump right in, man. Last episode. Um, see, they, they wrapped up um, that storyline. You know, wrapped up a good storyline there. Um, but we all know this stuff happened in real life on the accounts. Um, a lot, of, um, a lot of people been telling me, you know, the mistakes that were made in the show, and you know, and this and that. So it, a lot of times now that I know uh, uh, a lot of that information, it's not that it's hard to enjoy what I'm watching, but you know, there is a based on the, like. When you're making dra dramatization, you know, it's kind of like when I was watching Chernobyl back a couple months ago, right? When I was watching Chernobyl, you know, there are certain things that they change, you know, to, 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 to fit. You get what I'm saying? Who knows if that's exactly what happened in Russia? You don't, you really don't know, you know, you really don't. You really don't know, but it's damn sure close. That's the thing. It's damn sure they're going to make sure it's as close as possible based on what they've heard and what they, you know, people's accounts of what happened and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure people are still alive, you know, that survived that catastrophic event. So it's just like World War Two, you know, when they made this show, I'm pretty sure that there were people still alive that survived World War Two and could give them a pretty close um, account of what happened over there. You know, so maybe they got certain things wrong, um, but at the same time, it's still very close account and it's very few mistakes that they're going to make. So my thing is there's a lot of things like uh i'm probably gonna watch a series over of course i'm probably gonna watch all these 10 episodes over before i give my thoughts on the entire series um just so that i can you know whatever i missed and you know just to from an analytical perspective i can get a little bit more out of it um you know, because I know it was it was a it was a terrible time, guys. It was a terrible time. I mean, you know, jokes are jokes. You know, you're gonna laugh when the soldiers are joking around, but anytime they get serious, it's like you want to get serious too. So they've done a a pretty good job of kind of sucking you in to the world back to that time when that was happening. Even though we weren't there, I wasn't born yet, right? So it's it's good. It's good to, you know, have something like this to have you to think about it and be like, man, what if I was alive and I was drafted or even sent or maybe I'll, you know what I'm saying? Because war happens when you least expect it. That's the thing about war. You know, you don't see it coming from a mile away. You know, it just happens, you know, when you least expect it, especially if, the battlegrounds is in your country or whatever the situation is. It's going it's going to hit you hard. So let's jump into episode nine, man. You guys said this next ep this episode that we're about to watch right now is going to be um, one of the best episodes of the entire series, and then we will wrap up with episode ten um, the next time out. Okay, so let's go watch this, man. And I will see you guys right back here for the view. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. I'll see you guys for the review. All right, guys. I would have to say that 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 episode was the definitely the hardest for me to watch um, out of all the episodes up until this one was definitely the hardest one for me to watch because it hit me it hit me hard it it did it hit me hard 
you know, I was really, really fighting back those tears because, you know, it, it was, it's not easy to see that stuff on screen. As, as, as I told you guys during the episode, I, I've never been to the, to the, um, I don't know if it's the Holocaust, the Holocaust museum, they call it or whatever, but I've never been, and I've been, you know what I'm saying? You know, people would tell me, oh, you need to go or whatever. It's not necessarily that anybody needs to go and see the, that stuff. Um, it's a matter of choice. I'm choosing not to go because I know I can't handle it. And it's no disrespect to, you know, seeing that stuff. I don't, I don't go to, to, um, to museums that, you know, talk that, you know, have anything to do with slavery or anything. I just, I try to avoid it. And the reason why I try to avoid it is not because I don't want to know my history or I don't want to know these things that happen. I know they happen. I know that they happened, right? I know that they happen. Um, I would rather read about that stuff. I would rather read about it because even if, even if, it, um, you know, like, I, I don't even know how to really say this because I don't want to make it seem like I don't want to know my history, which I do want to know my history, but I just don't want to see it in that form because I know I can't handle it. I know I'm probably going to be in the museum crying my eyeballs out, you know, which is, I don't know, probably it's a normal thing to do, you know, you know, some people, you have some people that think it's, you know, people, you know, profiting off of, you know, that stuff and stuff like that. That's not where I'm coming from. That's, that's not, you know, the angle where I'm coming from, because, you know, in any situation like history books are not free are they? No, they're not. So you still have to buy history books to read them, you know? So that stuff ain't free unless, well, you don't own it if you get it from a library. But this was hard to watch because I've watched movies. I've watched movies that show stuff that went on in the Holocaust. And it's all, it's always a horrible thing to see. You know what I'm saying? I can't imagine me being in the Airborne Division and discovering this. I I I I just I felt like I would have just fell to the floor and just start hollering. You know what I'm saying? Just start hollering, bawling my eyeballs out from from the very pit of my stomach my cries will be coming from there because it's it's a it's just a situation where you're seeing it and you're like how can how can humanity i mean these guys are in the middle of war and you're finding something that is worse than war that's what happened you're in the middle of war killing killing each other fighting against an, an enemy that you know, wants world domination, has wanted to kill you or whatever the situation is. And you come upon something like this that you you had no idea was happening. You get what I'm saying? And finding out that, oh, this dude, this dude is even worse than we thought. I mean, that's where it went, man. That's where it went. And for me, you know what I'm saying? I know that if I go to a museum or, or, or whatever, or an exhibit, whatever it is, I am not going to be able to handle it. I am going to be mad. I'm going to be crying. I'm going to be, I'm just going to be upset because I don't like seeing stuff like that. It's, it's, in some ways, I don't want to say it's too real. You get what I'm saying? It's just like me, you know, when I was doing Chernobyl, I was saying that, you know, I would love if I could visit the site. You know what I'm saying? 
or or stuff like that right i would love to go see it for myself like i would love to 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 go to one of the camps i don't want to see this shit no museum man i would want to go to the site itself see what it was like there that's what i would want to see i don't want to go see it in no museum you get what i'm saying because for all you know you know what i'm saying for all you know these are not you know what i'm saying it could be just it could be fake too it could be fake and that's not taking a shot at them and, and, and you know, their mit meticulous work or however they, you know, that's not taking a shot at them. I just, I just feel like I would have a more realistic experience going to one of these um, encampments. Or it's tough for me to talk about this because it's, it's, it's from my perspective and it's not from anybody else. And I know... Maybe a couple of you are not going to like what I have to say about that. Um, you know. But you have to understand this is just. In certain ways, I just prefer it that way. I just I just feel like I couldn't handle it being in a museum. I wouldn't be able to handle it, I, but I think it would be. I think it would be um, a a better but easier experience if I if I go there and you know you have somebody telling you what happened and, and situation this and that like I don't I, I just couldn't handle it in a museum setting I feel like I just feel like it's not the right place you get what I'm saying but also I just would be my eyeballs would I would be crying the whole time and I know it's weird to explain to you guys because I I know myself and I know I've been to I've been to sites of slavery like when it comes on to um back home in Jamaica and I've been to um sites of slavery here in America like I've I've been to the places not in museum I've been to the actual place where you know what I'm saying plantations and stuff like that I've been there and it's a whole different experience to take it in. And, and some of the times when the people are telling you some of the stuff that happened, you know what I'm saying? Showing you trees that slaves were beaten on and um, trees where, you know, slaves were hung. And it, it, it it's harrowing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, 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 it's just, it gives you that feeling that, you know, have we really come a long way which we have but how far we have still yet to go you know so it i don't want to sit here talking to you guys for 20 minutes about this stuff man it's it's not an easy topic to talk about because you know you're always going to have those people that are going to be like why don't you go to the museum you don't want to know your history blah 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 i'm telling you why i don't like going to to museums that do that stuff i just i just don't maybe i don't know maybe i just don't like crying in front of crowds <laughs> maybe that's it i don't know um you know because even when you see me sit here and you see me cry like it's just me you know what i mean i'm not in front of a bunch of people crying not to say I've never cried in front of a crowd before, because I have cried in front of a crowd before, um, but it's, it's, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just don't like crying in front of a crowd. Maybe that's why I don't want to go. But I just think it's, it, it's a different experience when you actually go to the onsite, the the site of where these things happen. I just think it's a better experience than just going to a museum. You know, I, 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 I feel that way. And I don't want you guys to take it out of context. This is how I feel. Um, so if you love going to the museums by all, I'm not telling you that you had a bad experience or you shouldn't do that. That's not what I'm saying because everybody have a choice. You could do whatever you want and however you want to experience things, that's how you want to. I can't tell you how to experience things. I'm just saying what's preferable to me. That's all I'm saying. So 
this episode was it was basically all about dad announcing that Hitler is dead, he killed himself, blah blah blah. Who the hell gives a shit about him anyways? Right? Um He's never he's never remembered for anything good. You know what I'm saying? And as I said, man, that's how the cowards always go out. When you when you talk about all these details, they always go out like cowards, man. They never, it's always the cowardly way out. Suicide, hiding in a hole somewhere. It's, it's always cowardly. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much, man, for, for tuning in. Um, you guys re really did warn me about this episode. And I mean, it really got to me, man. I was fighting back those tears so hard because I, I was like, man. I really don't want to cry right now because <sighs> you know, thank you guys so much, man, for tuning in. <sighs> like, subscribe. I even feel funny telling you guys to like and subscribe after this video. I'm just going to end it, man. So peace out. Um, see you guys for the for the final episode.